Good morning, this is Mark Malaki, an Enterprise Solutions Specialist at Dell. Today I'd like to review the Equalogic software. When you purchase your Equalogic array, Equalogic includes the Enterprise Class all-inclusive software, snapshots, clones, remote replication, SAN management, thin provisioning, writable snapshots, and much, much more is included at no additional cost. So when you purchase that Equalogic array, whether you hook up one physical server or 500 physical servers to the array, you never have to go back to management, to your partner, or to Dell and ask for additional software licenses. Also, when you purchase the Equalogic array, as long as you're on current support and maintenance, what you'll find is when Equalogic releases new and improved features and functionality, as a current customer, you simply download and use that. As you look at the slide, what you'll notice is we have a lot of base software features and also many advanced software features. And again, everything on this slide that you see and more is yours at no additional cost as an Equalogic customer. So what I'd like to go through and review with you now is, is as we talk about all the features and functionality that make up the Equalogic software, really this breaks down into four core components. So first and foremost, a lot of the base software features and functionality is built into the Equalogic firmware. This is the firmware that you'll simply download and install on your Equalogic array on their controllers. Next, to start investing in, in using the advanced features and functionality within Equalogic, we have the HIT kit or the host integration tools. The HIT kit is installed and modified on Windows servers. So whether these Windows servers are physical servers or virtual servers, as long as these Windows servers are going to connect to the Equalogic array, it is highly recommended that you install the HIT kit. Also, if you're using VMware vSphere, either ESX35 or vSphere 4.0, we have an ad we have two additional downloads for you. The first and foremost is the Auto Snapshot Manager for VMware. And then we also have the Site Recovery Manager add-on. And soon you'll see an additional add-on for vSphere MPIO. And then finally, that fourth piece is SAN HQ or SAN Headquarters. So when we take this and we actually break up what type of software we have from that very busy slide, the firmware covers these base and advanced features. So everything from management to data protection and availability to maintenance, storage virtualization, and data protection. Everything here on this slide is covered by firmware. So again, you download the firmware and you upgrade the firmware and install the firmware on your controllers on the Equalogic array. When we look at the host integration tools, that makes up some of the core advanced software features. So again, the HIT kit or the host integration tools are installed on Windows servers whether they're virtual or physical, and they'll, they'll be actually connecting to and, and leveraging the Equalogic Array. As you see here, once you install the, the HIT kit, we'll have additional integration and providers for volume shadow copy services, virtual disk services for disk management. Um, also, we have advanced MPIO connection management. MPIO, or multipath, is built into Windows Server. We have some advanced uh, policies that are installed. And then next, for advanced integration with snapshots and clones, we have Auto Snapshot Manager from Microsoft Edition, which includes Hyper-V, Exchange, SQL, and Windows File Shares. Also under the advanced software features, we have SAN HQ or SAN Headquarters. This is the definitive application or tool that you'll use to understand every aspect for performance with disks, snapshots, clones, thin provisioning and replication when it comes down to the performance of your Equalogic array. And finally, for additional advanced software features and core components for VMware integration, we have Auto Snapshot Manager for VMware, which is a separate download today, and then the VMware SRM or Site Recovery Storage Adapter download. 